What is going on, you guys? It is The Talking Sasquatch, and it's great to have you back. Now, the Flipper Zero has been around for like two and a half years now, but there still seems to be a ton of misinformation going around, especially on social media. It seems wild to me that even after like two and a half years of all this, people are still insisting that they can do things with their Flipper Zero that they really can't. And yes, there are a ton of GPIO boards that really do allow the Flipper Zero to do some crazy stuff, but today we're taking a look at some of the more egregious things that I found recently. And yeah, I've shown you a ton of cool stuff that Flipper Zero actually can do, but today, today we're going to focus on a bunch of things that Flipper Zero can't do. Plus, today I'm actually going to show you exactly how rolling codes work. It's really cool and I've never really thought of showing it this way, but yeah, it makes so much sense. So grab your skeptics goggles and let's get at it. All right, so the first thing we're gonna talk about is something I've gone over so many times. It's crazy that people keep saying that they can do this. So the first thing your Flipper Zero can't do is steal your credit card. So you can, in fact, take your credit card right here using the NFC function of the Flipper Zero, hold it up, and we should get it to read right there. Just read it. So I'm currently using the latest dev build of Momentum Custom Firmware, and I can read in you know, plain text my credit card number right off the screen, and I can also get the expiration date. However, it doesn't show the month correctly. The month shows up as zero, zero. Furthermore, if I go to actually try to emulate the credit card and use it, it just simply won't work because that's not how credit cards work. And that's because credit cards use NFC or near field communication to communicate with the card reader. And unlike RFID, the way it works is that there's actually a conversation between the card reader and the card. So there's a back and forth. Flipper can only do it in one direction, but that doesn't stop some people from saying they can. So we're gonna take a look at a video from the bowels of the internet. TikTok and show you what's going on. All right, so I'm gonna break the entire video down piece by piece and you know show you exactly what's going on. So yeah, here we go. We're plugging in. That is the dual ESP by AWOC Dynamics. So yeah, that's what's plugged in there. If you don't know what it is, it's two ESP 32s and a screen. That's pretty much all you have. He's even got the riser, I believe, from Rabbit Labs. So I know pretty well what's going on in this video so far. All right, he's firing it up and here we go. It's hard to see, but on there it says ESP32 Marauder by Just Call Me Coco. So that is running the Marauder firmware that's normally on that board. That doesn't have any software or any hardware for doing anything with NFC whatsoever. So here we are being like, okay, credit card machine. Oh, no, 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 no. We're going to use our Flipper Zero, which is insane. So we grab our Flipper Zero with the dual touch nfc from uh from a walk i keep saying it wrong we hold it up to the reader fidget around fidget around and then it says authorizing like it actually worked then he goes on to try to pump his gas and stuff it's really pretty silly now that video was by euro throttle on tiktok and it's gotten a lot of traction in the past few months now i'm not the one to go around calling people out left right and center for doing things that are fake on the internet it happens all the time honestly i usually don't care that much but he's using a walks board in a way that you can't possibly use it and that opens up a whole bunch of headaches for him now i happen to have one of a walks dual esp touches right here and it's got a clear case on it that i printed you can see in the back there's no nfc coil but you know what it is big enough for, just barely, is hiding a credit card. As you can see right here, it can completely cover an entire credit card. You never know who's back there, but right there. I know it's it's, just, it's a hotel card. I know. It's fine. Let it go. So yeah, I'm going to have to call shenanigans on that video. And Eurothrottle, open invitation. Show me how it works. Convince me it's real. And I will apologize publicly. I've heard from creators that their Ponegachis and some of their Flipper Zero boards are already getting pulled off of Etsy for the exact reason of videos like this. Now, the next thing that Flipper can't do is actually kind of an interesting topic that we've talked about in the past. So another thing that Flipper Zero can't do is control traffic lights. Now, I know, I know, I know there's videos out there and things like that. Let me cook. But I can tell you exactly why the Flipper Zero can't control traffic lights. All right. So first and foremost, the little IR on here does not have anywhere near enough power to actually control much of anything on its own but if we add something like the master blasted to here we actually have a lot more ir let me throw one of the lights off i'll show you how bright this is all right you should be able to see it now so if i go to send something you should see yeah 
It's hard to see, but there you go. You can see the little lights going off in there. And there are, in fact, a bunch more IR boards that have a lot more power than that. Rabbit's got a bunch of them that are like seriously, seriously bright. And the Flipper Zero does, in fact, have the ability to output the correct frequency that could potentially control the Opticom systems on traffic lights. The main problem is power. The Flipper Zero can't actually output enough power to LEDs in order to work anywhere near as far as you need to make an Opticom system work. And that's pretty much just the long and short of it. it just doesn't have the juice for it. So yes, while on paper, if you're standing directly next to an Opticom sensor and you have a Flipper Zero with a powerful enough external GPIO IR, you probably could make it work. But in reality and outside, it's just not gonna work that way. So if you really wanted to attempt to make something with a Flipper Zero that would try to control a traffic light, you would have to have effectively a completely external device and only use the Flipper for the frequency. You need an external IR because you don't have enough IR on the Flipper. You need external power because you don't have enough power on the Flipper. So again, it kind of makes the Flipper useless in this situation. But you know what's not useless is today's sponsor, Delete Me. You know what's super uncool? data brokers. Every single time you put your information into the internet, chances are data brokers are going to get their hands on it. And once they do that, that information is getting sold to the highest bidder over and over and over again. Before you know it, your information is literally all over the internet and it takes forever to get these data brokers to take your information down. Well, that's where Delete Me comes in. Delete Me scours the internet for your information and finds these data brokers and asks them to take your information down. That's right, the data brokers actually have to remove your information if you ask them to, but the challenge is finding them all. Delete Me takes care of all of the legwork and goes around and does everything for you. It's just that easy. I've been with Delete Me for like a year now and my internet footprint has shrunk dramatically. So if you wanna tell those data brokers to kick rocks, go to joindeletemecom slash Sasquatch or use code Sasquatch for 20% off. That's S-A-S-Q-U-A-C-H for 20% off. Thank you so much to Delete Me for your continued support. You guys are awesome. Let's get back at it. All right, so another thing that the Flipper Zero can't do is steal your car. Now it's true, there are some vehicles and older vehicles that don't use rolling codes for their keys. And I'll show you what rolling codes actually look like in just a second. But for some older vehicles and some really poorly designed vehicles, they actually do send the exact same code every single time you press the key fob. And if that's the case, then yeah, Flipper Zero can copy that signal and emulate it. So in that certain situation, you could use a Flipper Zero to unlock a car without having the physical key fob. But I'm not really sure which part of this I'm supposed to use to turn the ignition on. But in most modern vehicles, the key fob actually sends a different code every single time you use it. Now, I can't believe I've never thought to do this before because it's actually a really cool demo. I'm going to use my actual car key and an RTL SDR to show you how it works. RTL SDR is a USB powered SDR, software defined radio, and we're going to be using a program called SDR++. So when we hop on down to the desktop here, we can see we're at frequency 315, which is the frequency my car key is going to use. So we're going to hit play. And we can see all the stuff going on already in this frequency range. Let's zoom in a little bit so we can see what's going on. And then this is where my car key is going to be. So I'm going to press the lock button three times and we're going to see what it looks like. So one, two, three. And we can hit stop. So if we look really closely at these three different unlock codes, we can see very clearly that they are not the same signal. So the car actually already knows the sequence of signals that your key is going to send out, just like your key knows the sequence of signals that it's going to send out. Those are programmed by an algorithm and an algorithm that you don't know. Without knowing that algorithm, there's no way that you can emulate those rolling codes. People always found it a little bit difficult to understand what rolling codes were and how they work. So I thought doing a visual on it might be a really cool way to check it out. So in full transparency, you can actually, if you're far enough away, that the car key can't actually talk to the car. If you copy that with the Flipper Zero, you can potentially use it once. Now, the problem that you'd run into if you did do that is you've now desynced the car and the key from each other. So that would mean that the key thinks it's N and the car thinks it's N plus one. And if that's the case, you need to resync the car and the key, which is actually not particularly easy to do in a lot of cases. Sometimes you're even gonna have to go to a dealership to get it done. That means it's gonna cost you money. So I found another really funny video on the depths of TikTok, which shows another thing that Flipper Zero can't do. Now, what I thought was funny is that they were so close, but so far from actually doing what they said they're doing. So another thing that Flipper Zero really can't do is intercept police radio. So yeah, I know it sounds crazy, but here's the video. Flipper Zero intercepts police radio.
so you can clearly see that they're listening to police radio. However, what they're not really saying is that this is a recording. It's not actually real. So yeah, all Mickey Mouse, all completely fake, all, you know, normal TikTok stuff. Now, the reason why I said that they were so close but yet so far is that you actually can intercept radio with a Flipper Zero. Now, the reason why I said that they were so close and yet so far is that I've actually got my Flipper Zero right here. And if you go into sub gigahertz and read with the audio on, you can do that. You can hear it. It's really annoying. But with a radio, we can actually talk to it. So that's really cool. So I guess if your police station uses unencrypted or untrunked radio waves, I guess actually technically you probably could listen to it on your Flipper Zero, but that's pretty unlikely. Now, one last thing that Flipper Zero can't do, unfortunately, this time is anything on 5G. Now, unless there's some hardware out there I have no idea about, all of the Wi-Fi boards for Flipper Zero are only going to be able to utilize 2.4 gigahertz. And that's simply because all of the ESP32s that everybody's using and have available, none of them can touch 5 gigahertz right now. Now, there is a brand new ESP32 being dangled out by Espressif that is supposed to have 5G, but currently it's nowhere. And the reason why I mention this is that people ask every single day, why can they not de-auth their phone or their computer? And nine times out of 10, it's because they're using 5G. Now, in a lot of cases, it doesn't really even matter because a lot of the 5G routers have protection from deauthorization attacks. So yeah, 5G, no go. All right, so one last thing I actually wanna go over because I find it really fun is the whole Dave and Busters thing. Now, if you haven't seen the videos before, Rocket God put out a video on him using his Flipper Zero to actually play games at Dave and Buster. So what's actually super interesting about this is that it is and isn't fake. So the cards that you get at Dave and Buster's are actually pretty stupid. They're not anywhere near as complicated as a credit card is. So this means that your card has a single code on it and the Flipper Zero can very easily copy and emulate it. So from that perspective, Flipper absolutely can be used at Dave and Buster's to play games. But what you're not gonna get are free games. So unless you're able to copy a card from like a service tech, there's just no way you're gonna get free games. Thank you guys so much for watching. I just really wanted to make this video because I hate seeing the Flipper Zero misrepresented. If you want to support the channel, support our sponsors. Go to joindeletemecom Sasquatch or use code Sasquatch for 20% off. You guys are absolute legends. Please make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and we'll catch you next time.